Ayo. It's been a minute. It's been a little bit. It's been about three months. I don't even know if I remember how to live stream. Let's hope I do. That's why it's late night. You know how we do here. We try things out late at night when everybody's in bed and we work out the kinks and then I just don't go live again. You know what I mean? As you can see, it's still Christmas in my household. And there's a reason for that. It's because I had like 18 different live streams prepared. Um, I had like a decorate my house. Let's take a looky loo around my house at the at the Christmas. I almost said Halloween at the Christmas decorations. That never happened. I had a stream prepared to make cookies or like a gingerbread house with my friend. That never happened. I was gonna do a holiday gift guide. I'm just telling you about all the things that were gonna happen, but didn't happen. You know what I mean? Maybe next year. Am I muted? Serenity, I don't, I'm not muted. Am I just really quiet? How about now? I wouldn't be surprised if I was because Hence the title of the stream. Do I remember how to live stream? Mm. Let's see. I'll double check. No, not muted. I'm going to type you something. I'm just waiting for an answer. Oh, you can, okay. Am I just really quiet? Am I soft? Oh, <laughs> okay, and serenity, that's funny. You had me nervous for a second. I was like, I, the title's kind of a joke. Well, I forgot the camera's over here. The title's kind of a joke, but I really am wondering if I forgot how to set this up, because it's been like, it's been a while. Um, oh, where was I? I was telling you about what I haven't done for streams, but had was going to. So I was going to do a holiday gift guide. Never happened. I was going to do. Um, I was going to do a Christmas stream with Christmas music. That was the real big one that I was really disappointed in myself because I was practicing for it and preparing for it. Never happened, and I don't even have a reason why. It just didn't happen. I was being. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, so then I was like, you know what? We'll make it a we'll make it like a New Year's Eve stream. Never happened. So I've been leaving my Christmas decorations up because I was like, I don't care if it's March. I will be doing at least one live music stream with my my decorations in the back. So here we are in the middle of the night, doing it, doing it right. Merry Christmas. Oh, how wonderful. As long as both are working, then, I'll, then it should sound a little better. But Serenity, do you see my Christmas decorations? Hi, Navigator. Look, I'm, I'm going over, if you missed it, I'm going over all the reasons why I haven't been live and all the great ideas I had for a stream that didn't come to fruition. They were great ideas, though. Maybe next year. We're going to put them on a notepad, and we're going to think about them for next year. So... I don't have anything prepared tonight for music. I was just, I just have my iPad in front of me. I was just going to pull up tunes. Because like I said, this is kind of a sound check, kind of a do I remember how to push buttons? Do I remember how to not act a fool in front of the camera? You know what I mean? So I went and saw the new Whitney Houston movie. Anyone seen it, you guys? Life happens. Yeah, but my life is boring. There was no excuse for me to go three months without recording things. Um, but here we are, the past in the past, right? I hope this sounds okay. Um, I saw the new Whitney Houston movie. 
It was really good. I recommend it. The woman that they had to be Whitney in the movie, I don't remember her name. She wasn't famous or anything. She was outstanding. She was fantastic. Um, she looked just like her, acted just like her. They'd made a good choice though, and they used Whitney's actual voice for the music, and she lip synced, which was a great choice because unless you can do like an exact replica of her voice, it wouldn't have worked. So it was a great movie. I loved it. Go see it. I learned a lot about Whitney that I didn't already know, that I didn't know already. I thought I knew everything about her, but I didn't apparently. And um, it was great. And oh my God, Stanley Tucci as Clive Davis, I thought it was Clive Davis for like a good 15 minutes until I realized it was Stanley Tucci. He was amazing. So since I saw the movie, I was like, let's play some Whitney songs. Maybe we'll play two. Yeah? Navigator, who the hell is live right now? It's supposed to just be me this, this late at night. Fine. Bye. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, in honor of the Whitney movie, we'll do a Whitney tune.
that's all that matters now All at once Drifting on a lonely sea Holding on to memories And it hurts me red heart shape. It's funny, it didn't show the actual emoji, it just explained what it was. Thank you, Sky G, welcome. I was, I was talking about how I saw the Whitney, mu the new Whitney movie a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, it was really good. You know, she says all at once too many times in that song, though. <laughs> it's like a little bit repetitive. There's certain songs that I love, but they just don't translate that well to when it's just piano because everything else is stripped down, so it's like you really, I don't know. It's such a pretty song. Maybe next time I'll do it without the second verse, and then it won't be so, so all at once, all at once, all at once, all at once, all at once. Um, did everyone have a nice Christmas? Do you know, want to know something? We haven't, I haven't celebrated Christmas yet. We had to postpone Christmas this year because my dad had hip surgery on like the day before Christmas Eve. So stupid that would schedule that. So we postponed it and it's been snowing here. So it's been like, we keep putting it off. And I said to my mother, I was like, Can we should just put the gifts away for next year. Cause I'm fine with that. There's like one, there's like two things that I want now. <laughs> the rest we should just put away for next year. Wouldn't that make next year so much easier? Christmas would be all done. They won't go for it though. I don't know why. I think my parents are more into Christmas like than I am for, for that sort of thing. But anyways, yeah, so we haven't had our Christmas yet. But we'll see. <laughs> Maybe we'll have it on Valentine's Day, I don't know. You guys, I don't know what to play. I didn't make a set list. Let me see. Whatever I play next, it's going to be something sleepy, though, because we know that's how I do. Um, how about something on piano, just piano song? Something a little on the piano, a little something on the piano, you know, English. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's one of my favorite songs, though. Oh, I went and saw a musical, um, I don't know, like a month and a half ago. I feel like I was going to do a live. I remember I was going to do a live, like, right after I saw it, too. Didn't happen, like all the other ones. But anyways, my friend took me to see a matinee of 13, the musical, which I knew the music very well, and I used a lot of their songs um, to work with with my students, but I've never seen it live, so it was really fun. Um, we have a great theater downtown called Seacoast Rep. And um, the cool thing about the show was when it was on Broadway, it was called 13, like I said, it was a Jason Robert Brown musical, and anyone who knows about Broadway shows, um, you would know he's a very big name, very well-respected composer. He did um, The Last Five Years, and he did, shoot, what's it called? I forget. He did other shows that were really good, too. <laughs> Anyways, this show, all the whole cast was all 13-year-olds, and the band was all 13-year-olds, too, on Broadway. That's how they did it. It was really cool. And Sequel's Rep did the same exact thing. They cast it. The whole show was all kids and the band was all kids, and they did great. It was so fun. Um, so I remember like being like re-inspired by the, I remember the, I really loved the music from that show, and I never sing those songs, so I was gonna do two songs from that musical for you that I, you know, forgot about and remembered how much I love. They're cute, they're super cute. Um, the one I'll do for you first, I'm gonna use karaoke tracks for these because I, I can play them, but they're better with the karaoke tracks. Um, oh, fun fact about this show. You know who was in this show on Broadway before she got famous? I'll give you a clue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's your clue. Who am I? Ariana Grande, ooh. Yeah, she was in that. That's where she got her start, on the Broadway. Sorry, I should have this ready to go. All right. Yeah, and she had a small part too. She wasn't even the lead. This song, was this one she sang? No, it wasn't. This was the female lead that sang this. This was, so this song is called The Lamest Place in the World, Super Cute. And the storyline behind this song is that she, so this kid just moved to town and met this girl and they become friends, fast friends, and she's kind of letting him know about the town and how she's like showing him around. That's basically what it's about. Nothing too complicated. Let me get the volume right. That's okay. Down the road there's a Dairy Queen, up the block there's a Walmart, there's a place you can accessorize your pets. A school, a tree, a couple of churches, and no matter how hard anybody searches, that's about as thrilling as this dumbass village gets. It's the lamest place in the world, but it just got a little bit better. So don't disappear. It's the lamest place in the world, but I'm pretty sure it's not as lame as it was before. Now that you're here Forty miles to the nearest river Sixty miles to the airport When we plan our escape That's where we're gonna have to be It's a shame, it's a sham, it's a terrible pity It got dragged away from New York City it's a major suck for you, but it's amazing luck for me. It's the lamest place in the world, but it just got a little bit better. I'm happy to say it's the lamest place in the world. And 
you're completely exotic, intellectual, neurotic. You never have a shot except you from the perfect guide. And though I do. Every fake and freak, every fool and clown Since the Chippewa settled this stupid down Let them laugh, they won't keep me down With you by my side and it just got a little bit better Amazing but true It's the lamest place in the world Has a lot of flaws but maybe it'll be fine because it brought me to you and then they put their arms around each other like this and they walk off the stage and it's so cute is it weird that I'm singing songs meant for 13 year olds uh, maybe I will do Maybe we'll stay on Jason Robert Brown. I will do one more with the, I have the karaoke tracks here and I'm being lazy, so. I'm being lazy, we're gonna use it one more time. I will do a song from another one of his shows that actual adults sing, okay? This is from, oh, they're my favorite. I used to create sorry. Dishes sorry about that. My old detergent. <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to do that either. So this is from the last five years. They made a movie out of this show with Anna Kendrick, who annoys me sometimes. Hi, Shelly! Shelly, I was making sure I didn't forget how to live stream, because it's been like a year and a half since I've done one. It hasn't been that long, but it's been a while. I've been lazy. So the last five years was made a, to a movie with Anna Kendrick, who I'm not that crazy about. She just plays the same person in every movie she's in. She was in A Simple Favor. She still played the same character. And then um, Jeremy Jordan, who I just love. He's so cute. They were both in it. It's a show that's only got two people in the cast, a boy and a girl, and it's about their relationship and their breaking up and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll do a song from that show. I don't think I've ever done a song from that show for you people. This is a cute one. It's called I Can Do Better Than That. Mm -hmm. This is another one I should play on the piano, but I'm not going to because it's late night and I'm doing what I want. And it's better with the violin. My best friend had a little situation at the end of her senior year. Like a shot, she and Mitchell got married that summer. Carol Ann getting bigger every minute, thinking, what am I doing here? While Mitchell's out every night, being a heavy metal drummer. They got a little cute house on a little cute street with a crucifix on the door. Mitchell got a job at the record store in the mall. Just the typical facts of a typical life on a town on the eastern shore. Thought about what I wanted, it wasn't like that at all. Made Carol and a cute baby sweater thinking I could do better than that. So I moved to the city thinking, what have I got to lose? Got a room, got a cat, and got 20 pounds thinner. Met a guy in a class I was taking with some very well-placed tattoos. He wouldn't leave me alone until I went with him to dinner. And I guess he was cute, and I guess he was sweet, and I guess he was good and bad. I gave up my life for a better part of a year. 
I'm starting to think that this maybe might work And the second it entered my head We needed to take some time off Focus on his career He blew me off with a heartfelt letter I thought I could do better than that You don't have to get a haircut You don't have to change your shoes you don't have to like Duran Duran, just love me. You don't have to put the seat down. You don't have to watch the news. You don't have to learn to tango. You don't have to eat prosciutto. You don't have to change a thing. Just stay. Finally, I have something worthwhile to think of each morning. And you, nothing but you, no substitution will do. Nothing but fresh and diluted and pure, top of the line. I don't need to get itched tonight I don't want to put you to throw up all your walls and defenses I don't mean to put on any pressure but I know when a thing is right and I spend every day reconfiguring my senses when we get to my house take a look at that town take a look at how far I've come I will never go back, never look back anymore And it feels like my life's led right to your side And will keep me from there from now on Think about what you wanted I think about what could be I think about how I loved you Say you'll move in with me Think of what's great about me and you Think of all the bullshit we've both been through Think of what's past because we can do better We can do better We can do better than that We can do better than Oh, it's supposed to be faster. We can do better than that jazz. Like that. Yeah, that's from the last five years. Jason Robert Brown. Hi. Is that lichen? Who's lichen snark? Is that a lichen impersonator? <laughs> Dave, it's weird. Every time you write an emoji, it doesn't show it. It just it's, it shows a description of your emoji. It says, Hey, lichen, hand orange covering eyes. Hand orange covering eyes. Oh, okay. What are you doing up so late? You're not up this late usually, lichen. But I'm happy to see you're here. Thank you. Shelly's here. Dave's being a good boy. He's always here. He's a good boy. Dave, I finally wrote back to the um, your comment on the Christmas song I put up. I finally responded to people on those. Wasn't that um, punctual? So you guys missed it. I talked about the new Whitney Houston movie and how good it was, and I did a Whitney song in honor of the Whitney movie. It wasn't that good, don't worry about it. I don't really have a, a set list, so I don't really know what to play next. I'll play the piano though. I'll. Uh, None of this lazy stuff with the karaoke tracks. I don't need that. I sometimes need it. You streamed to call out some bitches, but wait a minute, this late at night? 
I must have not gotten a notification because I was busy being here singing the songs. And the instructor streamed down like wusses. Oh, geez. Well, that's what you get for calling out the bitches, I guess. No, that's, that's, that's what we call weak. Oh my God, let's sing weak. You guys, let's sing weak. From, De was it Sisters with Voices? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll play the piano later in a minute. Let's do weak. That just gave me an idea. I love that song. I'll dedicate it to the bitches that struck down the stream, like in stream, okay? Weak. Do you guys remember that song from the 90s? I love it. Um, Let's do that one. I don't know what it is that you've done when you've done to me. You remember that one? This is Thank You Acoustic Lounge. Acoustic Lounge is one of my favorite backing track sites. They do great backing tracks. I don't know what it is that you do when you're done to me. But it's caused me to act in such a crazy way. Whatever it is that you do when you do when you do it, it's a feeling that I don't want to stay. Cause my heart keeps playing triple time with the thoughts of loving you on my mind. I can't figure out just what to do when the cause and cure is you. I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control and then something takes over me in the days. Your love's so amazing, it's not a face. I want you to stay with me by my side. I swallow my pride. Your love is so sweet, it knocks me right off of my feet. Can't explain why you love it makes me weak. Hi Gladys. Time after time after time I try to fight it. But your love is strong, it keeps me holding on. Resistance is down whenever you're around, cries fading in my Cause my heart keeps beating triple time When the thoughts of loving you on my mind I can't figure out just what to do When the cause and cure is you I get so weak in the knees I can hardly speak I lose all control and then something takes over me in the days Your love's so amazing, it's not a phase I want you to stay with me by my side I swallow my pride, your love is so sweet It knocks me right off of my feet Can't explain why your love, it makes me weak I don't remember how the bridge goes Try hard to fight it. No way can I deny it. Your love so sweet, it knocks me right off of my feet. Something like that. Weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. You change, lose all control, and then something takes over me in the days. You love so amazing, it's not a piece. I want you to stay with me by my side I swallow my pride Your love is so sweet It knocks me right off of my feet I can't explain why your love it makes me weak the camera died Blood starts racing through my veins I don't remember this part Boy, it's so Something about the way you do the things you do, it knocks 
rocks me right off of my feet. Can't explain what your love that makes me weak. Something like that. So weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control, and that something takes over me in the days of us so amazing. It's not a phase I want you to stay with me by my side I swallow my pride Your love is so sweet it knocks me right off of my feet Can't explain why your love Oh, it's a fade out Makes me weak What's Sorry about the startle at the end Hi, Callie Glitter Hi, how are you? Nice, soft do you mean nice song, Gladys? Gladys, those, I, you know what I just realized the other day for the first time? That those are actually your nails in your pictures because you're always changing your picture. But they're your nails, right? I think you said they were your nails. Anyway, are you a nail tech? I'm into nails, as you can see. I had the camera all nice and set up to see my pretty Christmas tree behind me. And then my camera died. I, how long have I been streaming? Because I usually get an hour's worth out of my camera. Does anyone know how long this has been? Oh, it says it right there. 42 minutes. That's lame. I wonder, maybe it wasn't charged all the way. It's okay. Oh, you have, you have a nail tech that doesn't. Well, they, she does... You have lovely nails. I, so I got into acrylics for a while, like doing my own, but like I couldn't do anything with them. I couldn't play my instruments. I couldn't even like go to the bathroom. It was just not, it just was a problem. So I stopped doing them, but I was really into them. I do like this, I would do like the Swarovski crystals and everything, which I could still do on short nails, but it's way more nice on the long ones. Okay, I'm a little bummed about my camera, but it's all right. I'm just gonna play a couple more anyway. So how about... Let me turn this back up. Is there anything anyone wants to hear on the, on the pia like piano singing situation? If not, I'll pick a song. Pick a song. Um, how about something by Adele? How about this one? <laughs> Do you know Make, Make You Feel My Love, the cover? That's actually a cover by Adele, because who wrote that? This is a quiz, quiz question. Anyone know who the original? songwriter of Make You Feel My Love Is. It's not Adele. I'll give you like five seconds to answer. Yes, as in yes, you know who originally wrote it? Who covered it? Bob Dylan, time's up. When the rain is blowing in. Hold on a second. I don't like this angle. Sorry, I gotta move this. I don't like I don't like it when it's like to the side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move it like this. It's better. Sorry. Sorry, you mean to like stop everything, but I didn't mean to do it. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Okay, that's better. We'll just take it from where I left off, you know what I mean? When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a Hold on a second. We have fun facts 
in the chat. Adele didn't want to do. No way! How do you know that? That's a fun fact. I didn't know that. I'm still not happy with the setup. That's why I'm stop. I keep stopping. Um, where did you find that out? Was she doing an interview? Because I love when she talks in her interviews. She swears a lot. Was she like, I didn't fucking want to do it? There we go. Okay, I really will start it for real this time, I promise. There was something wrong with the piano, too. The pedal was, like, getting stuck. Now we should be good. Okay, we're good. For realsies, this is, like, final draft, okay? Here we go. like majorly away from the YouTube like situation on a, in a big way over the past couple months and been like slacking big time. I need to come visit you. 
next time you go live. But you haven't been around. Um, have you been? Have you been around, Dorothy? Dorothy, we need to talk because we were supposed to have a community sale, and then you never, <laughs> never emailed me back. We need to chat on the email. I'm gonna write you an email. Good to see you though. Let's see who else stopped by. Um, hold on, let's go back a little bit. So we were talking about how Adele didn't want to do the cover. She was like, she's like, that song is so lame, but then she did it. And then, and then Nina came by and she said, hello, hi Nina, welcome. Um, and Mandy Hall said that it sounded nice and so did Creek, oh, hey Creek Squad. Girl from the North Country, Bob and Johnny did it. Feeling it. Dave's feeling it. Oh, Creek Squad, you have a karaoke night on Saturdays? I will have to stop by. That sounds fun. I love me a karaoke night. Let me just tell you. Are you sure? You sure you want me there? I'll bring some friends too. Thank you. Cali Glitter, you haven't been on much. Yet. I know, you know. I actually, I started this project two months, about two months ago, upstairs. It's been like two years in the making and I'm so happy I finally started it because it was just like, I just couldn't start it. You know when you just can't start a project but once you start it, you're good? It's been like, it's like upstairs just kind of became a clor like a storage area for my house, just clutter. You couldn't see the floors. It was just like, it was like borderline hoarding level without the dead rats, you know what I mean? Just stuff everywhere. So I finally started the decluttering process upstairs. Bins of stuff to keep, bins of stuff to sell, stuff to donate. You could see the floors now. It's like livable again. It's so nice. In fact, my music room, which turned into a storage room, is now a music room again and a craft room, both. So I hang out upstairs now, it's really great. So that's what I've been busy doing the past couple months. It's been really cool. I still listen to lives, but I just kind of listen. I don't really hang out in the chat. So I'm still there, you know, I'm still around. I'm just not staring at my phone. Instead I'm doing projects. But I, that was like gonna be another idea for a live that I never did was I was gonna show you my upstairs, you know, what, what I did, it's so nice. Um, Hey, Cardi, Cardi, what are you doing up? Cardi, what are you doing up? That sounds great, um, Creek Squad. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sub to you, and I'm gonna put a notification on. That'd be awesome. I know, right, Cali Glitter? It really did. It was like, it was like the cluttered space was like my cluttered mind. You know, when they say like your house kind of represents like your headspace. And it's just like I didn't even go up there. I just went up to like shower. I didn't even like really sleep up there. I would sleep downstairs on the couch. It was just a mess. Bad vibes and everything. But it's a nice now. It's like really nice. Like it's like a music room and a craft room. Like with a desk and my bedroom, you could see the floor. I totally redid everything in the bathrooms. I like redecorated. It's been really fun. It's been like addictive to keep going too. It's like I want to get rid of everything now. Like I literally, I, I was holding on to things for sentimental value. But like thing or things like like clothes that like I haven't worn since college, but it's like I'll fit into them again. No, I'm not. Just get rid of it. And once you start getting rid of it, it's like it's like you want to just get rid of everything. I I recommend doing it. Just do it. Just get rid of it. No one's gonna be upset that you got rid of it. Oh, Cardi has insomnia. Cardi, is there something you want to hear? I'm just gonna probably play one more, and then I'm gonna. Go to baby bye. My camera already died, you guys, after 45 minutes. Lame. Yeah. Okay, if, that one has, if no one has a suggestion, I'm gonna pick it again. Um, let's see. Do it, Mandy. Just do it. I had to, it took me two years to do it. I finally just got motivated to do it. And I had my friend take about 18 trips to Savers to donate stuff. Like that's how much stuff I got rid of. I got rid of so much stuff. I don't know Vince Gill. I'm not, I don't know much country to be honest. 
Although I do like Up Church. Um, I do like his music. I like Chris Stapleton, and I like Casey Musgraves. That's all I really know. Oh, and Bonnie Raitt, of course. Should we do Don't, I Can't Make You Love Me? As our night night song? As our let's go night night song? I just need one person to say, okay, and I'll do that one. Yeah, Mandy, my, me too. Like, I'll fit into this someday. I'm not gonna ever fit in it again. And it, it wasn't even my style anymore. Like half the stuff I looked at, I was like, ugh. Like this was, my, this was, I was into this. But yeah, I just had a trouble getting, letting go of things and I just didn't wanna, I don't know. But not anymore. What do we say? I can't make you love me. Maybe I'll do a Chris Stapleton song at your karaoke night. How about that? Because I got to think about which, maybe I'll do Tennessee Whiskey. That's my favorite. Well, that, well, that one's kind of boring for people. I don't know. We'll see. I can't make you, I'm looking for it, sorry. <laughs> oh, I could just type it in the search. If you're not subscribed, by the way, would you please do me a solid and subscribe and hit the like button? People have been unsubscribing, you guys. Like, I haven't been on. Okay, can I, can I just talk to you for a minute about this? And then I'll play the song, I promise. So I haven't been alive for like, I don't know. Like, it's been a while. It's been a few months. Refer, refer to the beginning of the video to hear my excuses. But I've lost like 30 subscribers. And I haven't been doing anything. And like, it's weird to me because to me, for me, like the only time I unsubscribe to someone is if they put a video out. Because then it reminds me that I don't really like, I'm not really like interested in their stuff anymore. So I'm like, oh yeah, that person's still around. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really interested in them anymore. And then I'll unsubscribe. But it's like when they're not posting, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think to unsubscribe to people that I'm not into their content yet. That's how I think. So I assume everybody else does that way. But it's like, I've lost like so many subscribers and I haven't even done anything. You, I heard that Creek Squad, that, peop, that YouTube will just like get unsub people, but, oh, and thank you for subbing. But like, I don't know, do you think they really did that 30 times? Callie Girls, Callie Glitter said it too. I don't know. I think you guys are just trying to make me feel better. But I just, I've been like wanting to take a poll of like the 30 that have unsubbed and it'll be like, why? <laughs> do you think they would answer? Like, why did you do it? I didn't even put any content out for you to not like. In fact, I've hardly even been on YouTube. I hardly even go into the chats to say anything to offend you. What's up? Come back, please. Come back and sub again, and then, then you can hear my shitty music, and then you can unsub. How about that? What the hell is this song called? Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> okay. You unsub to over 80 ch So, Dave, so when you did your cleaning house, were you just, like, cleaning house? Like, you just went to your sub list, and you're like, I'm just going to, like, go through it and just unsub from everyone I'm not interested in. Like, it was just, like, a thing you did. Because I can understand that, like if you're doing it as like a cleaning house thing, but I'm glad you didn't unsub from me, Dave G. Anyways, that's my, that's, that's me, my whining session. I was going to ask you guys about that, what you thought about that. And the consensus is that YouTube did it. YouTube did it. YouTube unsubbed the people. How are they going to know? How are they gonna? Are they gonna come back and do uh, resubscribe? I hope so. Okay, this is gonna be my last song. Oh, Care D. Yeah, but Care D, that doesn't ex that excuse doesn't work for all the people that unsubbed for me in November and December either. Okay, just saying. This is my last song for the night. Thank you for coming. This is I can't make you love me.
inside my head Lay down with me Tell me no lies Just hold me close Don't patronize Don't patronize Cause I can't make you love me if you don't You can't make your heart feel something it won't Here in the dark, these fine No, you won't Cause I can't make you love me If you don't I close my eyes You don't feel when you're holding me. Morning will come, and I'll do what's right. Just give me till then to give up this fight. I can't make you love me if you don't You can't make your heart feel something it won't Here in the dark, these final hours I will lay down my heart cause I If you don't Oopsies, hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. That's a cool chord. We'll end it like that. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see what you guys said while I was playing. What were you guys talking about? Oh, okay, Dave. That's a video you want me to watch? I will watch that. Bob and Johnny Girl from the Ghost. Okay, got you. Thank you for the link. I would check that out right now because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. But I'm looking at what you said. Um, I won't see channels, and I'll look them up. And I'm unsubscribed. Okay, I believe you, Cali Glitter. If that happens, I'm sure it wasn't like all of them, but maybe that accounted for some of them. That makes me feel a little better. Um, thank you, Mandy. 
Thank you very much, Creek Squad. Thank you for subbing, too. And I'll see you Saturday. Looking forward to it. Kira D gave me heartsies, heartsies. Um, you guys, thank you so much for coming by um, to make sure I didn't forget how to live stream. I kind of did. Like, I'm kind of like rambling and talking all, and being all awkward and stuff. I'll get back into it, you know what I mean? I'll get back into like how to do. But um, thank you, Dave. But I appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Thank you for coming. Make sure you hit the thumbsies. You know what I mean? The thumbsies. You know the thumbsies. That would be helpful if you did that for me. And I will see you sooner than three months from now. Like, I mean it. Hold me to it, okay? Good night, you guys. Take care.